Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish word of the day is old, which is in Swedish gammal. Gammal. Today I'm gonna do another throwback video and I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place Sulu palette in my last throwback video. It's actually not my latest throwback video because um, I did use the Subculture palette, but I just love that palette so much. So I had to do a second look with it. I just needed it. I just, oh, I needed it because I love that palette. I did struggle a little bit, but I'll link those in my in the description box. But the first video I did, I asked you guys to vote on which palette I should use next. And you guys wanted me to stick to color. So yeah, I did. And I actually hit pan on the purple today. I had a lot of problems with the purple. Um, you'll see that in a video. I did have a little bit of a struggle to get to this per usual. I'm also going to link five palettes right here, some old and some new ones. You can go ahead and vote on which palette you would like me to do a tutorial with next. I try to have a little bit of a variation of like colorful palettes and then a little bit more toned down palettes. I'll try to have some um, newer palettes, but then also some older palettes. So some palettes that I haven't used a lot on my channel and some palettes that I've used but are just old. So yeah, this is the look I came up with. I did also use my little pixie shadow because I just love this shadow. Like I love this. Oh, I love this so much. It just really amps up a look, but yeah, I'm not gonna talk that much more. So I'll go ahead and just hop into the video. So as you can see, I hope you can see right here, the Juvia's Place Sulu Palette 1 with 41%. So I think I said this in the intro, but please vote on which palette I should use next. I'm gonna use some, or I'm gonna mention some newer palettes and some older palettes within my collection. And you can say which one you want me to use next. I have done, I don't know when you see this, but I have done some, uh, a little bit more neutral looks lately. So I'm really excited that I am getting to play with this. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh my God, you guys, it survived, but still like what the F? This is why you should buy new palettes all the time because they won't break on you. They won't give up on you. <laughs> they will stay true. Okay, I'm just gonna pop this in and be a little bit careful. So I am going to take this shade. The shades in this palette is the only ones that doesn't really have a shade name. So um, yeah, I just have to show you which one I'm using. I am just going to take this. I think I'm just gonna try and like pack it on right here. Why do I have a little small dot right there? Second shade I'm going in with is this orange. Uh, it's so hard to hold up. <laughs> okay, so I'm tapping it off because I don't want too much product. So I'm just gonna have it like so. And then I'm gonna take it on like 50-50 and just try and blend this out a bit and see if we can make them mesh a bit. I wasn't actually going to film today. But I was so bored. So Niklas, he took the dog, he took Sige, and he left. So what I started to do was like, checking online, checking on Beauty Bay, and I don't know, I just got bored. So half the day, it's actually around the evening right now, but half the day I was just sitting and I was just, you know, minding my own business, chilling with the computer. I was doing a little bit of editing. And then I was like, hmm, maybe I should take Siggy out for a walk because I started getting bored. And you know, sometimes you want to move your legs, but then I was like, I don't have him here. So I was like, okay, let's do a makeup tutorial. It's like the best time to film when I'm home alone and I don't have to worry about when he needs to go outside. But you know what? I love this. I wasn't sure if these two colors were going to mesh, but they really, really did. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm taking a clean brush, even though this isn't looking very clean, it is. So I'm just going to blend this 
right upwards just to get a little bit of a neater blend so I'm just taking this in the outer corner and this is a Morphe M562 brush I actually have changed my mind about this I like this even more than the Sigma brush the small E36 brush I think it is because this one is a little bit fluffier versus the Sigma one which is, I'm gonna show you. I think you can see, I know it's probably not in focus, but I think you can see what I mean. Like this is very, very, where is this? This is a little bit fluffier. So the purple that flew out, <laughs> very, very roomy, I'm gonna use. And I do wanna say that I have noticed that if you use a concealer base, or if you set your base and anything along those lines, this purple will work like trash. Uh, I have had a lot of problems with this before when I have uh, put on like purple all over and then I've had like large patches all around my eyes. Never happened with eyeshadow primer, only with concealer base or something that is set. Maybe you could set your eyeshadow primer if you use one, but only use a real eyeshadow primer uh, if you have had a problem with it. If you have a, if you don't have a problem with it and still uses a concealer base, continue to do that. Don't change it up. <laughs> but I'm gonna take that purple anyway. So I'm taking this on an E30 brush. This is just a small pencil brush and I'm not gonna take this too much. I most just wanna take it right here. Because I just wanna deepen this up a bit. I will go in with a little bit more pink as well. So I think I'm gonna leave it like so. I'm gonna pack it on just a little bit more because I feel like it didn't really build up as I wanted to. And then we are taking the pink once again and we're taking this clean brush that we used before, just swirling it into the pan of the pink, tapping it off, and then we are going to blend these out using circular motions. Taking a little bit more. Yeah, this is definitely not the best purple I've used. I take back everything I said before. It's still giving me problem. I think it is that it doesn't really blend. Well, it blends, uh, but I think it is because of the fact that it doesn't build up very good. Uh, I know that I'm going in with a lot of shadow over this, but it just doesn't really build up as I want it to, and I don't think it works that well to build the shade up. Um, I have used that purple so many times. If you were to sit here, you would see that I have a pretty big little dip right here. Maybe if I use it just a couple of more times, I will hit pan on it. That's how much I've used it. Just because I've had so many problems with it, so I've been so intrigued to try it. I take back everything I said about that purple. I'm not gonna use it anymore. I freaking hate it. It's okay if you use it as a light wash of color, but it just won't build and it blends away. I know why I actually, I'm gonna show you. I actually just right now hit pan on it just because you have to build it up so much. I wouldn't say that I've used it enough times to hit pan on it, but the reason why I have hit pan on it is because you need to pack it on and then when you start blending, it blends away. So you need to pack on more, it blends away. So you kind of just apply more shadow, but it just blends away. So that's the only reason why I've hit pan on it. It sucks, I hate it, 
Let's move on. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the NYX glitter glue just a little bit because we're gonna use a shimmer. So, my focus, I hope so. I'm just gonna pack this on right here. I had the worst time with this. As you can see, like right here where the line is, this is what it's supposed to look like here. It looks a little bit, almost a little bit muddy, but I th still think that it looks all right. So I won't really spend that much more time obsessing over it. This is sort of like a sunset look, but we're gonna add a lot of color right now or a bright color. So the shade that I'm gonna take now is this blue one. It's absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of like the ocean. It's just like, it's so pretty. Mm-hmm. The light is very bad, I'm sorry. Is it better now? I hope so. Oh my god. This is like a warm and cool tone uh, look. It's so pretty. So I'm taking this. I think I'm gonna stop here. And now I'm gonna take this real, really bad <laughs> purple again. And then I am just going to try and see. I think it will attach right here because I do apply it over a shimmer, which is a little bit... Um, oily. So I'm just applying this in the outer corner, really trying to like pack it on. Can you see what I mean when I'm trying to like pack it on right here? It just won't pack on. It's so strange. Then I'm just taking my finger to try and like mesh these two shades together. You can use a brush if you like that instead. Ooh, pretty, pretty. I am going to take the pink shade. The mattes in this palette, I feel you can kind of swirl. Like some uh, matte shadows, it's best to kind of, like Subculture for instance, it's kind of best to just dip it in. And with all of the ABH palettes, it's better to just kind of, if this is the shade, like, doot, and then apply it. But with Juvia's Place mattes, I feel like you can kind of swirl them around and then, and then apply them. Ooh. And then I'm taking the orange again and I am going to do circular motions. Oh, this is too pigmented. God, I'm struggling today. I'm trying to do more swirling motions or like circular blending motions because it's apparently better. I also need a little bit of glitter, so I'm gonna take this from Pixie. So I'm always taking this on a brush and I'm just gonna pack this on. This is not something you need to do. But I think it's gonna add a little bit more of like that effect. Ooh, that is pretty. It's just a little bit of that like extra effect, which I love. I don't think I said anything to you guys. I just kind of went away and then now I'm coming back looking like this. But um, yeah, things happen and uh, that's the way it is sometimes. So we're gonna do the under eyes. I didn't do anything more on this lid more than <laughs> this side. The purple just didn't want to look as good and it just is a little bit of a hot mess. I should have taken some bigger lashes to kind of cover it up, but anyway. So I did clean this off in my little um, 
color switch that I have. <laughs> it is still having a little bit of purple on it, but I figure that the purple is anyway pure shit, so it really doesn't mad matter. I'm gonna take the pink now, and I actually did glue this. Ooh, a little bit of glue. Let's see, yeah. It seems to be holding pretty well, so that's good anyway because we didn't want to lose this great purple shade. Tapping my brush off because I have done my base, as you can see, and I am just going to apply this under my eyes. Ooh. And I'm gonna take the orange shade right now. This little beautiful person. Or person, but yeah, okay. I drank an energy drink and I don't think I needed it, so I'm a little bit like, oh. I always get so flimsy. Is it called flimsy? I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to... Oh no. I don't like this wet and wild brush. Like one said, one person said that this would be a dupe for the Sigma E25 brush. So I bought it, I mean, I buy my makeup online and you can see it's not a dupe. If you have that brush, you'll know how it looks and it's not a dupe. Uh, a little bit too much eyeshadow, perhaps. Please sir, can I have some more? Well, hello. Why is it that the pen that you want to find is the one that you find the last? Like I'll find every other pen, but not the one I want. So I'm gonna take my Linda Hallberg. I know that there's a lot of people who wants me to teach you how to pronounce her name and how we say it in Swedish. So Linda, I think is the same, but Hall, you say Hall, we say Hall, and then you say Berg, we say Berg. A lot of people said that I say it with a Y in the end. No? <laughs> Barry. J, J. Like with a J. But it's spelled with a G. So, Linda Hall Barry. Mood crayon in likable mood. Just taking this in my waterline. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm just gonna apply some mascara and then I'll just zoom you guys out a bit. So I did change one thing. I did take this little guy. This is the Laura Geller Life Glows On. And it's just a little illuminating palette. It's really, really pretty actually. But I took this shade, which is called Opal Crush, and I put it in my inner corner. I thought that it would tie really, get, really, gayed, really good together with the pink and the blue. Because pink and blue is really beautiful together. And then, like, pink and pink, like, of course, or purple. I would say that this is a little bit more like a purple pink. But, nonetheless, yeah, that was my little video my little throwback video so please don't forget to vote on which palette i should use next i can only name five palettes or link five palettes in the cards so don't vote in the comments i know that some people were a little bit confused about that vote right here i think it is right here if i'm doing this in the opposite direction i'm so sorry like imagine me pointing here and the thing is here I'm just rambling, but please vote uh, just so I know which palette I should use next and um, give this video a like if you liked it Dislike the video if you didn't like it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon Bye